and welcome to How To with Kayla. Today we are going to be making marinara sauce. So I got these beautiful, beautiful tomatoes from my yard this morning and they are ready. So how do you know the tomatoes are ready for the sauce? First, they have to be bright red like this and a little soft to the touch. All right? See how beautiful? The only thing you do, you wash them very good, and now you take the eye on the top, and we are gonna just cut them into big chunks, like that. All right, so just make like big chunks. You know, if you don't have tomatoes, if you don't plant tomatoes in your backyard, a good thing to, go, to do is go to your farmer's market and get some tomatoes there because it's so different from the tomatoes that you buy at the store. The flavor, everything. So it's worth it to go to your farmer's market and get some fresh tomatoes from them. You see, it's going to make such a delicious sauce for you. So. Another good tip about tomatoes, don't put your tomatoes in the fridge. It's going to change the enzymes inside the tomato and ch change the flavor. So you don't want to leave them in the fridge. You just leave them at room temperature until you are ready to use it. Now, I'm just going to put all the tomatoes in this pot right here. Big pot with lots of tomatoes. And then I'm going to add the herbs, and I'm going to show you which herbs I'm going to add to the sauce. So I have right here some beautiful Asian basil that I'm going to use with the little flour because it has a lot of flavor on it. So just put the herbs right there. So I'm going to get the basil. Just one spring of rosemary. You know, rosemary has a wonderful flavor, but a little bit goes a long way, so you don't want to add too much. Some more basil. I have some Italian basil, too, of course. It's going to go. colors are so beautiful and they look at that now you're gonna add the oregano so just add a lot of oregano it's gonna give a lot of flavor see how easy it is you know if you don't have a backyard and you want to have some herbs for cooking every day, you can plant them in a little pot, even if you live in an apartment. If you have a little patio, or if you have a nice bay window, you just plant like one little plant of basil, one little plant of oregano, and put by the window. As long as it gets a lot of sun, you can grow, you can grow herbs inside your house. So just try next spring, go to a nursery, get a little, a little plant of basil or oregano or rosemary, put in a little pot, and you see, it makes such a difference on your everyday cooking. All right, so I have enough herbs right here. Now, my secret ingredient. Every time when I finish grating my Parmigiano Reggiano, I save, I save the skin, and I'm just going to add the skin right the way it is, right there, okay? Tuck in between the tomatoes, and it's going to give a very beautiful, delicious flavor to the sauce. Now, another important thing, don't add any water, not a single drop of water. The tomato has a lot of liquid. And that's the only liquid that we're going to use. You may also be asking, 
you're not gonna take the skin or the seeds no I'm not and I'm gonna show you you don't have to if you seen any of my other videos you know that I use everything that can be used so I'm leaving the seeds I'm leaving the skin everything and I'm not gonna add anything that doesn't need to especially water now I'm gonna go for the pot and I'm gonna simmer I'm gonna cook in very very low heat for two hours and then I'm gonna steer I'm not gonna steer before two hours and it's gonna take a while this sauce here probably is gonna take six to eight hours to make because we are gonna make very very slow but you see it will be worth it so in about two hours I'll come back here and I'm gonna show you all right see you in a little bit so it's been two hours let us see what we have here in the pot it's the first time that I'm gonna steer the marinara sauce so as you can see look at all the liquid that the tomatoes are releasing okay so I'm gonna make sure I steer pretty good and the only thing different I'm gonna leave it open now okay I also want to show you the flame how low I'm cooking the sauce so maybe you will be able to tell it's very low and that's how you have to do so now I'm gonna leave it open so some of the liquid is gonna start evaporating and the sauce is gonna start forming so in about two hours I'm gonna stir it again and then in two hours again and then in about maybe five six hours from now I'm gonna show you how to finish the marinara sauce and welcome back it's been about six and a half hours so remember I started with a full pot of the tomatoes right and that's what is reduced to so maybe one third of the pot see how thick it is and all the tomatoes are very very soft can you tell all right so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to find the pieces of cheese that I put it there I'm gonna take that out okay I got the other one now I'm gonna use my favorite toy here my immersion blender I use this for soup for sauce for so many things so I'm gonna make the sauce right here in the pan if you don't have an immersion blender you can use your regular blender just be very careful not to put the tomatoes there when it's too hot because it can the steam can make it like a really big mess on the, your kitchen so uh, let it cool a little bit and then you just blend everything together with the herbs everything all right so here you go <laughs> acidity and the sugar is gonna cut right through it so you don't need a lot just a little bit of sugar will do it now mixing everything together see what a beautiful beautiful sauce thick rich and let me try let me 
see how we taste. It is delicious. It's, it's such a good sauce. It's very light. It tastes great. If you just get this put on top of some pasta, sprinkle with some Parmigiano Reggiano, and you are done. All right, so I hope you enjoy today's video. And again, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash howto with Kayla. And at YouTube, you can see all the other videos that I have there. All right, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.